What's up, Bloggy Pilots? Bloggy Poncho here, and I've had some realizations. I'm not happy. Over the past, I guess, really, like, even like the past year, I've been doing a lot of thinking about who I want to be and who I am and why those two people are so different. I feel like at my age, this is the point in your life where you sort of decide what kind of person you're going to be. And then very shortly after, you become someone. And I think for very few people, those two are the same. I've realized a few things lately that don't make me happy to think about. Things that are definitely true, but I refuse to accept for a long time. And then some new things that I... Uh, I never saw coming, but now it seems like it actually makes sense. So there's a lot of I'll say that I'll say the realizations first, and then I'll say where I think this is all coming from, and we'll get down to the point of this whole thing. So there's a there's a method to my madness here. The first thing I realized is that I'm getting fat, and not in the cute like oh he's. He's gained five pounds in the past six months. He's getting fat. Yeah, no. Like, I'm getting like legitimately overweight. And it's... It sucks. I look at pictures of myself from the past. And uh, discernibly less of this going on. Discernibly less of this going on. And I just... I hate it. And I, uh, I like to pretend... Like, you look in the mirror... And I think I'm, I'm fine. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta own the shit. I, I'm not I'm saying you. But I mean me. I look in the mirror, and I look at myself like when I'm about to get in the shower or something, and it's like, yeah, I look fine. And I realized I don't. Like I'm gross. I would, I wouldn't fuck me. I mean, <laughs> that's a simple matter of it. And it's just I. Uh, it isn't. It is just about that. It's like I wouldn't look at myself and go, yeah, he's attractive. I would be like, he needs to lose some weight. And, uh, <laughs> it, you know, I don't know how I realized it. And this is really what hammered it home for me. Uh, I had gotten in the habit of, like, as soon as I got home from work and, like, sat down at my desk, I would, like, unbutton and unzip my pants to give myself more room. Like, it's official. None of my pants fit anymore. <laughs> I have gotten too fat for every single pair of pants I own. I'm lucky that my dress pants have like an elastic, like, get fat, like, insurance on the side, where uh, they, they're actually like two inches bigger than the tag says, or they wouldn't fit either. And I'm at like the end of that elastic. So that's the first thing I really noticed, is I realized is I'm getting fat, and it's like, serious and noticeable. And I hate it. And I, uh, a couple other things. Well, something else that came into me today, that or, or like yesterday at work, everybody at the office was talking about, I don't know how it came up, but somebody was talking about their height, and everybody just said what, how tall they were. And that's what, that's what happens. If somebody mentions their height, pretty much everyone in the room is like, oh, I'm this tall. Oh, how are you tall? Oh, you? oh I'm that tall. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't believe it. I looked at my coworkers who said they were six feet, and I'm like, you gotta be taller than that. Because I'm... I'm 5'11", and you're, like, more than an inch taller than me. So the math works out that you're taller than six feet. And my coworkers are like, no, we're, like, both two of them were the same height, and they were both convinced that they were six feet tall. So it's like, huh, I thought I was 5'11", so either I'm shorter than I thought, or you guys are taller than you think you are. Yeah. And so I, uh, there's actually, a, like, a, a small gym at the office. And so I went in there and had my buddy... Measure how tall I was on the on the scale thing, and it said five foot nine and a half. I had never thought of myself as a tall guy, but I legitimately believed I was five foot eleven. Like I, I say, I've never been like hung up on my height. It's never really something I thought about much at all. But to suddenly find out that I had been wrong about it for years is kind of dissettling. Like, I don't even know how it happened. I I have a suspicion. But, I mean, there's only a couple ways it could have happened. 
<laughs> one of them is more likely than the other. I'll let you be the judge. Uh, either the people who measured me back in high school being my parents and some random nurse when I got a physical both told me I was 5'11". So either they were wrong or they told me I was 5'9 and a half and I just didn't believe them and thought I was 5'11". So uh, I think it's the second one, honestly. Hard to admit, but in much the same way that I thought I wasn't overweight, I also thought I was taller than I actually was. And uh, I think it sort of comes from... I want to bitch and moan about like, the culture of the youth today and how people aren't raising their kids right, but I'm not even close to old enough to talk about that with that kind of attitude. But I will say that there is an attitude today that you're never allowed to tell someone that they failed. It's always, you have to always be positive. Everybody gets a medal, everybody gets a ribbon. Like when I did the Pinewood Derby when I was in Cub Scouts, the three best uh, Pinewood Derby cars got like trophies and everyone else got like a participation ribbon. And even at the, at the time, I thought the participation ribbon was bullshit and insulting. Because that's what I ended up getting participation. My cart was terrible. But uh, now everybody gets like a trophy, like a little tiny trophy for participation. It's not even like I got like a little ribbon. Like I, I probably threw it away when I got home. I have no idea where it is now. It meant nothing to me. Uh, but a fucking trophy, that's on, that's on your shelf for the next couple of years, you know? And I I feel like li growing up in that very positive environment, I was given very good self-esteem. And I've now come to the, the real realization that I've kind of been hitting up on, the, the third one and the really big one, which is that my self-esteem is rather unjustified on several categories. I'm very smart. I've always considered myself a smart person. I have a gift for mathematics and programming, and that's demonstrable in the fact that I have a degree in both of them, and that I got pretty much all A's in all my college classes without having studied very much. You can't do that without being smart. It's pretty much proof. But when it comes to being in shape and being the height I thought I was and everything else, I have been artificially inflated, my ego, for years. And I'm only just now realizing it. And I'm, I'm a little bit sad, but at the same time, I'm, I'm really angry. Like, I feel lied to, but I really, I know that the only person who's lied to me is me. I've been lying to myself for years. And it's... I've been having a lot of, like, moments of clarity lately where I've been realizing these sort of things. And it's, uh, it's not a pleasant experience, to say the least. But I know I have to do something about it. And part of this happened because I saw on Reddit today, I was on a subreddit called The Red Pill, which some of you have probably heard of. It, a lot of people hate it because they think it's like misogyny central, and it's definitely true. There's definitely some woman hating going on in there, but it's not as much as people talk about. More than anything else, it's about men learning to be, I don't know, what, like, I don't want to say manly. This is not like machoistic, but... I don't know. I guess the best word to use is alpha, even though I hate that that whole, like, couching in terms. But the point is, somebody had said, there's a thread that was like, what's the worst advice you've ever been given? And somebody in that thread answered, just be yourself. And then they went on to explain that just be yourself is only good advice to someone who's already winning. Just be yourself is only good advice to someone who's already awesome. For everybody else, just being yourself is an excuse to do nothing to improve yourself. It's like, but that's like the motto of our society. It's like, express yourself, just be yourself. Who you are is beautiful and you're perfect the way you are and you're a unique little fucking snowflake and when you grow up, you can do whatever you want. You can be a firefighter. You can be the first president with one leg. It doesn't matter. Nothing can stop you. You're capable of anything. Just be yourself. And it's complete and total bullshit. Be yourself is... That's the quote. Be yourself is terrible advice to anyone who isn't already awesome. And that's sort of what I've been telling myself for years. I'm fine the way I am. 
I like the way I am, the way I am is good, the way I am is attractive, or intelligent, or whatever, and it's simply not true. And I, I really feel like I've had my eyes open. It's, uh, <laughs> as everyone on the subreddit says, it's a hard pill to swallow. Sort of realizing that I have been, I had had an artificially inflated ego for years. And now, I have a choice. There's really only two ways this can go. Well, I guess there's three, but the third is just embarrassing. I could adjust my ego. This is the first option. And just recognize that, yeah, I'm a little overweight. Not the hottest guy or the tallest guy in the room. That's me. Whatever. And it's not so much I'm fine the way I am, it's... I don't care that I'm fat. That's the first option. Second option is to move my actual, just to change, so that the first one is changing perception to match reality. The second one is changing reality to match perception. Get in, I'm not going to get taller, but get in shape and get to the point where I actually am as attractive as I feel like I am. And the third option would just be to continue lying to myself. Which is essentially like doing nothing, continuing the way I have for years. And I, uh, I think I'm going for door number two. I want to improve myself to the point where my ego is justified. And this is something that the Red Pill talks about as being one of the differences between men and women is that women, it's, it's like a, I can't phrase it properly. I, I'm kind of tired. But, uh, it's like, women do what I've been doing for years, which is convincing yourself that you're fine the way you are, you're already beautiful, you don't need to change yourself for anyone or for, even for yourself. And men look at themselves and say, I need to improve things. You know, they, or they, they look at someone who's more attractive than them, and rather than rationalizing it all away to say that no one really expects me to be that attractive or, or that rich or that cool or whatever, they, women will rationalize it away and say, no, I'm fine the way I am, everything's cool. I don't need to do anything. Whereas men will look at it and go, I need to work out. What the hell? Now I'm kind of just, I've just turned that corner. I'm hoping this will be like a turning point. I'll look back on this video and be like, you were fucking right, dude. You need to improve yourself. Don't settle for who you already are. Improve yourself. That should be, that should be the fucking motto, not be yourself. It should be improve yourself. That's, I'm keeping that. That's going on my mirror. Oh man, I just, I'm so mad. I've been, I've had all this anger lately at my job, which has finally gotten better, by the way. That's the, that's the silver lining here. I went home at 4.30 today. <sighs> anyway, that's another video. I, uh, I had so much anger lately about my job and about the fact that I can't find anybody who wants to date me, which I know shouldn't matter to me, but it does. You know, let's be realistic. I want to have a girlfriend again, and I don't have one, and that makes me mad. Not at <laughs> whoever doesn't want to date me, just in general. And But now I'm sort of mad at myself, and I think that's a lot more productive, because I can actually, you know, start with the man in the mirror, as Michael Jackson would say. So that's where we're going from here. Because in all the times in the past that I've failed to that I've said, I'm going to work out, I'm going to do this, I'm going to eat better, get in shape, I'm going to do all these things and improve myself. All those times that my New Year's resolutions have ended halfway through January. It was because I didn't really feel like I needed to change. And today, really for the first time in my life, I've looked at myself I found it wanting, you know? It's not acceptable. I, I no longer meet my own standard, mentally. And that's not going to change. In fact, the longer I go without changing it, the more mad I'm going to get about it. So, I'm expecting a lot of vlogs about my workout routine for the next few months, at least, because that's what I'm going to be thinking about a lot. I've already started trying to eat less. I had a terrible salad for lunch today. I tell you, okay, if you're ever going to a restaurant 
and they serve sandwiches, or in this case it was a Greek restaurant, so they serve like pitas and stuff. If the lettuce in the sandwich or on the burger or in the pita is not good lettuce, do not get a salad at that restaurant. What a mistake. I swear they, I swear like they took a, like a big handful of the lettuce that they put in the pitas and just put that on a plate like that's a salad. <laughs> Freaking, come on. Oh, so that was a terrible lunch. Good news is I drank the last of my alcohol in the apartment today, so those calories are behind me at least. I weigh 180 pounds, and as of today, I'm 5'9 and a half. Which, I don't feel any shorter. Like, mentally, I still feel like I'm the same height because everything is at the same height as it's always been. I feel fatter. Because when you're 5'11, being 180 is like on the border between uh, acceptable weight and overweight. But when you're 5'9 and a half, being 180 is firmly in the overweight category. And I, uh, I don't know why I said that again, but that's what it is. Like, I've, hmm. I'm, I'm going in circles now, but the point is, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a change. <laughs> Take a look at yourself and make a change. That's what Michael Jackson used to say. Oh man, I have a challenge for my viewers. I have a challenge for you, vloggy pilots. All you guys out there who think you're whatever height you think you are. Tell me in the comments how tall you think you are. And then go get your dad to get a tape measure or your roommate or whoever and measure how tall you actually are. See if you're as tall as you think you are. Because every single guy at my office either thought they were taller than they were or lied. Which, lying seems like a bad strategy when everyone else knows how tall they are and they can look at you and like kind of tell whether you're lying. But I, I think that they weren't even lying. I think that every single guy in my office, myself included, legitimately thought they were an inch to an inch and a half taller than they actually are. And that says something about us as a culture. We so men so strive to be like the perfect male that they lie to themselves. We, I have to own this shit, we lie to ourselves and convince ourselves that we already are that kind of thing. And it's not acceptable. And I have to... Man the fuck up. I have to grow up and realize you can't just, you can't, you can't live lying to yourself. And I'm totally rambling now. I've reached a point where this has lost all coherency because I already went, I already went through all the points I wanted to say and now I'm just talking. So I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. And the day after that, and the day after that. Probably the day after that. Maybe the day after that too. We'll see how I'm feeling, you know. But, uh, I already went through my gym bag. I looked at, everything in there and realize that I need none of it to burn calories. I'm just going to go to the gym and I think I'm going to cut for a while. I can't, I can't decide what kind of workout I want to do. I can't decide if I want to try and like burn off my extra fat before I start trying to build muscle or if I want to just go straight into like a hybrid kind of thing or if I want to just lift. I, I don't know which is the best strategy really. I'm going to do some research, but one way or the other, I'm going to start eating fewer calories and fewer grams of fat and start burning more calories, be it lifting or cardio or whatever. I need to find, I need to come up with some definable, achievable goals, something I can measure my progress towards. And I need to come up with a realistic plan for me to get to those goals. So I'm going to do a work tomorrow. I'm going to have some free time. I work! Yes! Oh, you guys, no, I, I can't wait. I got to tell you guys about my job. I've been bitching about my job for months, and I finally turned the corner. I, the big due date was Sunday. It's Tuesday now. And the past couple days, it's like there's just a burden lifted off of my shoulders. The past four, the past month, I, I worked, the four weeks prior to this week, I worked 45, 53, 59, 63 hours. So it just got worse and worse up to the end. And this week, I'm going to work like 35, <laughs> taking it easy. And, oh, man, it is so... Um, the project that I was on met the deadline. We made it. My six months of sweating and working on it and my one month of extreme stress and long hours paid off. My piece of the project works. It's out there in production. People are using it, and they aren't bitching at me about it. So everything is cool. And I'm just, I have been so happy the past couple days because of it. Like, 
Sunday afternoon after like the thing, I was done with my meetings on that day. Yeah, Sunday. Oh, by the way, month of February has 28 days. That's Friday is the last day of the month. Uh, I will have taken off in the month of February a total of two days. There should be eight days off in February just for the weekends. I got two days off this month. That's how much I've been working lately, and that's why I've been in such a shitty mood. But it's, I've finally reached the, I finally turned the corner, and things are going to be like my workload is going to be much lighter for the next month or two. And I'm really pleased about that. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity to really hit my personal goals hard. Take that extra time and go to the gym. You know, do some research. You know, improve myself. I'm, I'm going to make up make up some a plan and some goals. And I'm going to set a timetable with numbers, achievable, measurable things. And I'm going to clean my whole apartment and put on my mirror in my bathroom my list of goals. I'm going to come up with some like short ways to remember each of them. I did this once before and it helped a little bit back in high school, actually. I had five goals then. I remember one of them was getting my driver's license, which I did. I can't remember the rest. I don't know. Then I had I did this again a couple of years ago, and it actually helped me then too. But I, I let it go too soon. I didn't keep with it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and stick it up on my mirror. I had to come up with some good. I like I like little three word phrases for big goals. Like I think I'm just gonna put improve myself, improve yourself everywhere around the apartment. I'm just gonna stick it on things. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bunch of sticky notes and just improve yourself exclamation point. Or maybe I'll get some bigger sticky notes and write don't be yourself, improve yourself. That, I'm gonna copyright that. That's beautiful. Don't be yourself. Improve yourself. That's like motivational. It's empowering. Man. Oh, I'm, I'm getting like a mental heart on just imagining improving myself. That's definitely a good sign. Now I have to follow through and get. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> you all know where that, that metaphor was going. <laughs> I notice I don't look at the camera when I talk because. When I talk to people in real life, I don't make intense, constant eye contact. And so when I make a vlog, I don't feel the need to stare into the camera constantly. In fact, I like to look over in this direction, mostly because there's a wall over here and there's nothing to see. But yeah, work. Oh, work has been so much better. I'm going to use that time. So I figure, I guess, if any of you guys, if any of you guys know anything about like where to start with my physical fitness, I would appreciate the help. Because I, like, I know all the theories. But I'm talking about in practice, like what's the best way? I mean, should I do all cardio at first and try and burn off the extra fat and get down to a certain weight and then start lifting? Because I can adjust my diet in, in accordance with that. If I'm going to cut and then bulk, I can eat less and then eat a little more. But if I'm going to try and do like a hybrid of the two, I don't know how much I'm supposed to be eating. And then if I'm going to do all lifting, do I need to eat more? That seems counterintuitive because I want to lose fat. I guess I'll start with cardio since that's what I want to do. My goal is to lose fat first. I want... That's a goal. I'll be right back. These are my favorite pair of dress pants. Now, I have not worn them to my job a single time because they haven't fit me in over a year. Let's see how big they are. The tag says... 36 by 30. I don't... No way. Hang on, I gotta try these on. If they were 36, they should fit. Okay. I, uh... I had a pair of pants I didn't know about. These are the wrong ones. The mystery of the appearing pants. This is kind of embarrassing. I... I thought I had no black dress pants that fit me. Apparently I've had two pairs in there for months that actually fit and I didn't know. Anyway, I found the ones I was thinking of, which is these. They say, <laughs> look at how much I pop over the top of these. They say 34 on the tag. I think they're actually, well, if that's correct, my waist is like 36. So this is my first physical achievable goal, which is fit comfortably into these pants. Like, to the point where I can tuck in a dress shirt and still button them just fine, comfortably. I'm gonna hang these pants up. I gotta figure out a good place where I can see them every day, so that's like a visible goal for me. Is fit to those pants, you know? I wanna hang them in the living room, but there's nowhere for me to hang them up there. I'll think of something. But there's one right there. That's a goal. 
fit into these pants again. Those are nice pants. I've worn them like twice in my whole life. Because prior to having this job, I had very few excuses to wear dress pants. So I just, I have all these, I have more clothes in there that I've never worn. Here's another goal for us. Oh god. I'm gonna regret putting this on film. <sighs> another goal. To wear this shirt. I, I don't even know why I own this. Uh, another goal should be to wear this shirt in public without being ashamed of myself. Because, actually right now it's, this is like unattractively tight. I mean uncomfortably tight. Unattractive too, I'm sure. I wanted I this is really long too. Why is this shirt so long? This is made for someone who's like six inches taller than me and a lot skinnier than me. I don't know if that guy exists. So it's large. It's just meant to be this tight. Oh my god. Oh, I guess I'm not as fat as I thought I was. At least this is meant to be fucking tight. This is a large. Oh yeah, look at my manly, manly arms. I should be glad I have like the most ridiculous outfit on now. I have dress pants and whatever kind of shirt this is. I'm gonna look at this like six months from now and be like, dude, you nah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's goals right here. Fit. I mean, I fit into the shirt, but it's not pretty. Fit into this shirt and pants comfortably and confidently. There's a goal. I'll also make some numerical ones. Like I, I figured out that my weight. I'll do the math and I'll talk about it tomorrow. Here's some goals. I'll have some more numerical ones tomorrow once I've done some math and figured out. Where, I, where my weight needs to be for my BMI to go back where I want it to be, which is in the middle of normal or on the lower side of normal. I vlogged for way too long tonight. I hope you guys can give me some support in the comments. I, I would love some positive feedback from you guys. Not about this shirt, <laughs> please. <laughs> I, I know, it's, it's gross. Can you see my nipple? I think you can. That's embarrassing. That's on the internet forever. So it's that horrible expression I just made. I'm not gonna put this video up. <laughs> it's not gonna, I'm gonna watch this back when I'm editing it and just be like, nope, I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting, I'm not, fuck it, he's putting the red shirt on. I'm cutting all that out too. <laughs> uh, another goal, juggle four balls. We'll, we'll do that goal. We'll, we'll do all the goals tomorrow. Once I have time to think about the numbers and figure out where I should be. Stop talking. Stop talking, Monster. Thank you for watching. I would, I would love to hear from you in the comments if you know about where I should start working out. Not like physically, but like how. And then if you have ideas about how to motivate myself, things I could do. And I really want you guys, like literally guys, men uh, that are watching, how tall do you think you are? Go get measured and come back and report on the results. As I, I would love to find out if, if this, everybody in my office was wrong. And I would love to find out if that's just like a universal thing where all American men think they're taller than they actually are. So let's do a survey. Come back and go be a data point for me. Help me out on that. Thanks for watching, guys. I am, I feel actually really good now that I'm already like, getting pumped about doing this. I also noticed I have a dimple on this arm that did not have... <laughs> I need to wear less sleeves. That's the moral of the story. Thank you for watching. Thanks for you, especially for your comments, and thank you for watching this ridiculously long video of me talking to a camera. I will see you, not next time, tomorrow.